Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a baby chick in an egg. I take two fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to start out with a curved line, getting a little bit fatter at the bottom, and stop. Come back to the dot on the right hand side, we're going to bring that curved line out, down, around, and connect. Right about here on the left midpoint, I go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect. I come down a little bit further and I repeat zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect. And one more if you have room. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect. I come back to the top. On the left, I draw one curved line. On the right, I draw another curved line. I go back to the left and I draw little straight lines all the way across. On the right hand side, I draw little straight lines all the way across. In the middle, I draw a straight line out on the left straight line out on the right, come back to the left, straight line down, straight line up, connect. Inside I put one, two little dots. Now starting on the left right here, I'm going to put little straight lines all the way across the top and the left and right side of that section. Okay? Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is super easy to color in. The first thing I'm going to do is use orange for my beak. I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color the whole entire section right here. This is all baby chick. Okay? These little straight lines, those are supposed to be chick fuzz. You don't have to color those, you can just leave those. But we're going to make the top part yellow. Then I did my first stripe blue-green. You can make your own choice. I did my second stripe pink. You can make your own choice. And I made my bottom green. And you can make your own choice. It's up to you. Okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my baby chick all colored in, ready for spring. And as always, if you don't want to make it a spring or Easter egg, just leave it white. Okay, bye-bye.